and welcome back. Now I'm guessing if you're watching this you've accomplished your first bit of homework, which is to say you walked the streets, found out what the successful men are wearing, and got the proper clothes and hairstyle. Today let's talk about body language, because this is also very, very important. This is another one of those alpha male traits. Never ever have your shoulders forward, never be hunched over, never be sitting down. No, no, no. You always want to be shoulders back and kind of leaned back a little bit. You know, like if you look at me from the side here, I'm actually kind of leaned back a little bit. I'm just relaxing, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'll walk up to a set just like this and be like, what are you up to? You look like you're interesting. And then they'll be like, what? It's like, well, if you were boring, you sure as shit would be having fun together. What are you girls up to? Once they start talking to you and they open up with you, you don't just keep talking like this, you reward them. It's carrot and stick, but that's later on down the road. But you're going to reward them by turning your body to face them, because who, you know, whoever is facing who, if everybody's facing one person, that person's in charge. That's more of the body language stuff. But having your shoulders back, having a mild lean back, relaxing, finding spots so you can sit down in a chair, just be kicked back, whatever. If you're at a bar and there's and you can, we'll say that this is the bar um, top here. I'll, I'll, well, I won't, obviously, you know, it's at a bar, so I'll kick my feet out onto the bottom part of the chair next to me if I can. Uh. And I'll have my beer and I'll just be, you know, relaxing, chilling. <laughs> Never ever hold your beer here. Don't do this. This tells them that you're afraid and that you need to be protected, and that's an Omega stance. You fucking just let that shit dangle. If you got it and it's up on the bar with you, that works too. That's fine. Actually, if this would stay put, which it might, I would just rest my hand next to the bottle, next to the bottle, try not to spill my Jose Cuero. But yeah, there we go. You can rest at the bar, just be all chill, and you know. Grab a drink, put it back, rest your hand again. Don't speed chug your beer. In fact, when you're out chasing women, try to avoid drinking because it fucks with your head and screws things up. When you do buy a beer, walk around with it like this. Just be like, hey, what's up? You got your beer. This is a relaxed, casual response and demeanor. Now, your homework for tonight is to go out to a bar, go out to a restaurant. Well, no, don't go to a restaurant, go to a bar. And just get used to kicking back in your new threads, find a spot where you're surrounded by people. Even if they're one or two chairs away from you, that's okay. If they're more than two chairs away from you, that's not that's not good. Then now you're the weirdo who's all by himself. Don't do that. But if you're a chair or two away from people, just sit down, kick back, shoot the shit, give people your size unless you're talking to them. And you know, once you're talking to them, then you can start and turn to them and be like, what's going on here? But lean your body back a little bit, shoulders back, relax. Don't try to pick up chicks. Just see how the response and how people around you is different. Talk to people. We'll go more to getting. We'll go into more into attaching yourself to groups for your homework tomorrow night. But now you've learned some basics of body language. Remember, shoulders back. Kind of lean your body back a little bit. Give them your side, or even give them your back if, you, if they're upset. If they're upsetting you, and you're like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, don't be afraid to give them your back and start shooting the shit with this person over here and then come back to them. But command presence. You're in charge. So you gotta operate on that. Now, once again, you have your homework. If you wanna again skip ahead, check out a couple of these sites here. These will some of them give you free information to help you get bigger and better in the bedroom, but before you focus on the end game of seduction, you need to focus on having them accept you. And then we'll work on getting them comfortable with you later.
Don't forget your homework.